Bilal Hassani will represent France this year. What do you want to know about him? We looked for your Google searches and asked him everything you wanted to know. Roy is a song that we wrote with Madame Monsieur. They were the French uh, uh, representative for last year at Eurovision. We wrote the song, the three of us. It happened in one night, actually in three hours. It was really quick. jean carl Monsieur from the group Madame Monsieur, was uh, doing this little piano riff, like the... And I just had the sentence, I am me, that just came out first. And I just knew I wanted to talk about... Um, my experience as the person that I am, how different I may feel sometimes and how I need to remind myself that I need to preserve my inner kingdom and not care or listen about what all the others are trying to tell me by polluting my identity. And so we wrote the song, it was really fast and then we realized that the message was kind of universal and that it could touch a lot of people. I think my favorite part would have to be is toutes ces voix fait comme si fait comme ça moi je les calapa you will never remove my crown that part uh, is in French and it means um, all of those voices telling me to do this do that I just don't care about them I don't listen to them um, they will never remove my crown that's what I say and it's really important it kind of sums up the whole song I've said that a lot, people may call me basic, but it's euphoria. I just love this song so much. And Laureen is Moroccan, she's of Moroccan descent, just like me. <laughs> In 2014, Bilal Hassani watched Conchita Wu's music video and left a comment. Ooh. Oh, I remember that. I remember listening to the song and watching the music video. It was, I think, um, I was really excited to listen to it. I, I heard a lot about Conchita. And when I watched the music video, I was shocked. I just loved the song so much. And uh, then I read the comments and I was disgusted. So I, I just commented about how I felt. And I remember thinking about it all day. I was like, ugh, why would they just say that? This comment shows that really uh, Eurovision has been a part of me for a long time and it always gave me strength because um, even though Conchita got a lot of criticism she won and she had she held her head up high and I'm just very admirative of, of her and of a lot of contestants during like on Eurovision it's so important for me Emily from Madame Monsieur my friend told me one thing when we started writing the song and it was always sing like you talk because you're always gonna be the most ha honest if you sing like you talk and when I talk there's French and there's English I started speaking English with my dad when I was six and so the like both languages have been around me for all my life so I it was just natural here's the bonus question all of my wigs have names, maybe you can find some pictures, but the red one is Cat, the blue one is Ivy, the green one is Verona, um, this one is called Tel Aviv because I wore her the first time in Tel Aviv for um, the little postcard shooting, and the one that I'm going to be wearing at Eurovision is going to be simply called Eurovision, and when once you get close to her, you're going to be able to call her Vivi.